Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Canadian immigration levels plan were just announced by Immigration Minister, the Honorable Minister Sean Fraser. Okay, but um, there is a detailed report on the IRCC website, and also in the press conference, Minister Sean Fraser talks about it as well. So here are the new features that are going to be introduced in the express entry system and uh, Minister Sean Fraser referred to it as targeted draws as well in his press conference. Targeted draws for one of these categories. He said that in the press conference as well. Okay, so these uh, new features in the express entry system will welcome newcomers that have the required skill set and qualifications in these three sectors rather four sectors we can say okay so the first sector is obviously everybody knows about it healthcare healthcare but uh, keep in mind that uh, minister sean fraser said that in his press conference that he's done with uh, inviting healthcare workers who are not going to be working as a healthcare worker because of the um, uh, foreign qualifications evaluation and the licensing requirement and etc but he said that he's done with it. And he said that I don't want any more doctors coming into Canada who are not going to become a doctor in Canada. So also he says that uh, the, the, the restrictions are going to be reduced for these healthcare workers, but the current situation obviously, um, uh, I mean, we can assume that the Canadian immigration draws will be for the healthcare workers related to lab technicians, right? Uh, the the knock codes that we usually see in the PNP programs, uh, registered nurses uh, 3012 and many other PNP, uh, many other knock codes related to health workers. Okay. The second category will be manufacturing and the third category will be building trades. Now, uh, immigration minister said that in his, in his press conference that they need houses. In the coming years, they are going to invite more people because currently there are two young people for every older person. Okay, so the ratio is very less. Three ratio one, two ratio one, it is very less. And um, he says that we will need more immigrants in the coming years and we need to provide services to them. We need to uh, build more houses for that. And to build those houses, we need construction workers. Okay, that's what he said in his uh, in his press conference that uh, we uh, we could have a targeted draw uh, for the construction workers. Okay, so this construction industry, the building trades, um, obviously they need houses, so they need people who can build houses. So this is uh, the um, I mean one of the sectors that the immigration level plan says that these are going to be the priority sectors. Okay. So uh, also apart from these three sectors, they will need people who have the required skill set for STEM, uh, science, technology, engineering, and math. Okay, STEM. So people from this sector will have an opportunity as well uh, to, 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 to uh, avail this opportunity of new features in the express entry system. So currently Bill C-19 uh, is not implemented yet. It might be implemented in March 2023. So the year 2023 obviously will be impacted by Bill C-19. But uh, looking at this uh, uh, statement, I, I would leave a screenshot as well. Looking at this statement, um, it is obviously now clear because things are now getting cleared slowly. The dust is getting cleared. So, um, I mean, healthcare, manufacturing, building trades and STEM uh, these are going to be the sectors that the new feature in the express entries will welcome these newcomers. Okay, so this is, I mean, as I said, the dust is getting cleared slowly, but still, Bill C-19 is yet to be implemented. The details are yet to be out. So with this news, this is Alif Takar, and uh, I'm hoping great things are coming your way.